day two in Massachusetts right now. We're going to head out to Jersey, to Titan. It was a great show. Really exciting. Had some crazy stuff going on, but we're not going to get into that. Um, <laughs> but uh, happy husband versus husband day, pretty much. <laughs> happy Arcadia versus so Gango nice. day. Okay? Tell your friends. So. <laughs> We're so excited for Steve Max 25 year anniversary. Right. So, what are your thoughts? Like, maybe you can give us a Steve story. Steve Mack, honestly, if I had time to tell Steve stories, I'd be here all night, honestly. Um, I'll tell you a positive thing that, you know, ever since I've been in the business, I've been coming up on my eighth year in professional wrestling. Actually, ninth. Excuse me, this August, ninth year in professional wrestling. Um, he's always been by me to where that I've taught him and worked with him. He's like a key player in any locker room you could possibly have to make a locker room as good as it is. And there's no other better who deserves this night better than him tonight. That's awesome. So this is a very exciting card. We're yes. here. So we're going to see all that fun stuff. But is there anything in particular that the fans should be looking out for? I mean, the card stack. It doesn't matter. Oh, but honestly, so honestly, you know, we have a lot of everything in the card tonight was attached to Steve Mack and his history of what he's right. done and what he's done for the business. You have great matches like uh, Low Life Louie involved. You have Azriel coming in, Arcadia. Honestly, you know, the fans are expecting so much tonight. I don't even know what to tell them because I don't even know what I'm going to expect tonight. <laughs> awesome. And then we got a bunch of like new students too that are like making we their have moves our up too. From our training, our opening training. Honestly, uh, Ben Castle has been breaking his you know what in training. The great training. It was actually in Mount Olympus. It was supposed to be scheduled to happen the show we had last month, but unfortunately it's happened. We decided to do it now this month. Steve. So Steve's been looking out at this kid too as well. Awesome. So where should the fans, if they're not going to be here tonight, where, where are we going to find this? Oh, you're going to have to wait till you get some off. So the only time you're going to see this is tonight. Oh. You have to be here tonight. Otherwise, you're going to get it about a week later on our network of Mob 5 TV. You can download Mob 5 TV. You can view everything Titan Championship Wrestling and Gazas were on Mob 5 TV. All of our shows, and it's 100% free. So that's something that's big, too. Because these days, lately, a penny goes a long way, and everyone loves the free thing. Oh, Frankie, what's going on? Oh, nothing. You know, weird weather, having summertime out here, and it's supposed to be in, supposed to be snow or rain, but no, none of that. <laughs> Getting ready. Getting ready. This, this bald guy right here. <laughs> yeah. This bald guy right here. Yeah, this bald guy right here. <laughs> like that. Look how smooth The disrespect. That, that light is just glistering from there, huh? I'm done. <laughs> the, dis the disrespect. The disrespect. The, the disrespect that the is going disrespect. on here. Oh my god. So you're, you're getting ready for your match, and then after you're going to go play some laser tag? Oh yeah, I'm all for it. Go on for that laser tag right there. But there's the bouncy house next door, so you could actually like practice. Oh no, before. we ain't going to be practicing. We'll just sit there. We'll, we'll end the match, during the match. We'll go outside the door. And we're like, yo, we found out just laser tag. Where is it? Let's go. And we just start rumbling out the door. and then. We'll be out there playing laser tag. We'll find out who won that today. Okay. So we're outside of H2O cool territory at Titan. And I found Rocky! Our faves! So, what's going on? You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You're wrestling Azrael, and I'm going to get him so much shit <laughs> because it's Azrael, and he keeps going after all my favorites. I don't appreciate that. He went after Kenya, Gangone, Marcus Matters, and now you. What the hell is going on here? So now you have to kick his ass because I can't deal with this. <laughs> Alright, so you gotta give him a lesson, some fast flippy shit pretty much. Oh uh, no, they keep saying he'll blow me up, but it's not. No, no, no you're gonna blow out. him up, right? You're gonna blow him up. Yeah. That's just how it's gonna be, so I'm excited. So yeah, I'm excited. make sure you tune into this match. Alright, so I felt Chris Barton. How are you? I'm okay. I'm very tired. Oh. See, I was on a mosh pit last night, which is probably not a good idea today. Well, it's preparing you for your match with Life Lumi tonight. It's giving Lumi an advantage. <laughs> That's what it's doing. I don't know. I feel like you might have to be worried about this. I'm not worried about it. I'm beating Lumi's ass tonight. No, I'll, I'll, like, all jokes aside, though, Lumi, like, I had nothing but respect for Lumi. It's going to be a fun match tonight. The show is for Monster Max 25th anniversary. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he was in a, a five-way scramble match. And during the match, he picked up uh, Dashing D, and he tossed him over his head and hit him face first against the wall. That was that was an awesome moment. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> Literally, like he had a military press, and he tossed him from the ring to the wall. We were just talking about stuff like that on the podcast. I'll show you guys the clip after. Yes. That, that, that's what happened. Awesome. Well, kick ass tonight. Thank so. you so much. <laughs> see you guys then. Found Louie, what's going on? What's up, Tiffany? Good to see you. As yes. Always, you bring a smile to my face every time I see you. Thank it. you. You're amazing. So, you have a match with Chris Barton today. He said he's going to kick your ass. Thoughts? Yeah. Listen, man, I've been doing this for 25 years. I think I think he wasn't even sperming his dad's balls when I was doing this. I don't know <laughs> oh if I can say it or not, but I'm pretty sure. I've been doing this for a quarter century, and that's what we're here to celebrate. Yes. We're here to celebrate my brother Steve Mack and his 25th year anniversary. Uh, the fact of the matter is, me and him started together. So, if he's been doing it 25 years, so have I. And uh, Chris Barton, he may be bigger, he may be stronger, he may be faster, he may be wilder, he may be everything. But he don't have my heart, he don't have my experience level. Man, I know every trick in the book, there's some that I even wrote that are in there. He's in, he's in a hell of of a lot of trouble. What's that big boy gonna do when I drag him into deep water? I'm in the best shape of my life, kid. You're in a lot of trouble. Oof, oof. So I have to ask, give me your best Monster Max story. I got so many Monster Max stories, but uh, the best one was probably one of the first ones, I'll give it to you. The ride in Englewood, New Jersey, where uh, Homicide and Jay Lover both got attacked by a crowd of angry fans. And Steven Brandon, who's Loki, run to the back and they're like, Louie, Louie, the fight is real. I'm literally in a tank top and a pair of underwear after refereeing the whole show, getting ready to get dressed. I run out into the crowd in my underwear to fight people off, legit. Oh my Straight goodness. Shoot. Oh and no. People magic was, guys that were here, that were here. Jay Love, was, Jay Love was gonna be here on this show. He was at the riot, so it was Magic. Uh, of course, Steve, me, so. The, you could ask all of them that story, and they'll tell you that story. Mm. Hey, one, one crazy day. That was uh, September 2nd, 1998. Wow. Wow. Oh, the, the, that's crazy. Well, yeah, me and Steve have a lot of a lot of great times, a lot of road stories, a lot of good times. You know, like, I'm sure he's mentioned before, I've known him since high school, so that's a long time for us. After high school and 25 years doing this, it's a long time. So I found Preacher. He's got a match tonight. You so, want to tell uh, us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, so um, I had asked Titan Championship Wrestling uh, a few months ago to introduce Pure Rules matches to their format. Um, and um, it took a little bit of a convincing, but um, the last show I was supposed to wrestle Josh Adams uh, for the first Pure Rules match, but unfortunately I had gotten COVID uh, right before the match. So um, Killian uh, McMurphy took my place, uh, and from what I heard, they had a, an amazing, amazing match. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to getting in the ring with Josh Adams tonight. We've been friends for a decade. Um, there's no animosity between us. Great. Um, but there is definitely something true to be said about the you hit your friends the hardest thing. <laughs> um, so I'm sure that it's going to be a very competitive, very hard hitting match. And, uh, you know, we'll see who comes out on top. <laughs> Put his ass in headlock. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I want to do a one-on-one -on -one with you. Ooh. We need to do a one-on-one. -on -one. We need to. We got to get played together. We got to get played together. Yeah. We got to get this Louie right here. That guy. That, that guy. This old, old, old fat guy. That guy. I love that guy. He wants, he wants death match though. He wants. That's why you're a theme song. I want Louie to come out. I want the theme song to get him motivated. I, I want to see Louie while I'm in the ring. You got a different theme song here, bro. Ooh. Family entertainment. Oh, yeah. Family entertainment, yes, man. No cursing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Yeah. No it's crazy. Like fudge, man. <laughs> Fragile. <Right>. Fragile. <laughs> what am I gonna do now? I don't know. I don't know. Just tape your mouth up. Listen, like I was telling you. Yeah. I, I, I shoot, shoot. I, no, 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 shoot. I don't care. I'm, I'm the shooter. It's like, clip, clip. <laughs> I've been locked up. I've been locked up. Ooh. I know what it's like to be locked up. I know what it's like to not be able to do what you usually oh, do. Oh no. Yeah. Confide. Okay. Really? No! No! 
sir.